we're here at the Riga Eurovision pre-party 2018 and we're joined by a Latvian regular in their national final, <laughs> Marcus Riva. How are you? I'm super cool uh, and Vivo blog is one of my favorites uh, my one of my favorite uh, blogs and you're one of our favorite artists <laughs> from Latvia um, so first off you've been in Latvia's selection many times yeah, so I think since 2014 uh, I, actually I can say that even before because I was participating as a songwriter before okay. as well so uh, I think it's a long journey for me. <laughs> and what is it that keeps bringing you back every year? I think it's this opportunity to represent your own country in uh, this very big music event. And, and the thing that if you go to, 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 to the big, uh, big event, then uh, I think it's a great, great opportunity to showcase your music, your artistry and everything. To, to a wide audience and I think it's the greatest music show ever so because you always see like the latest technologies latest music trends and freaks and not freaks and like all kind of uh, all kind of musicians there so I think it's a great 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 place to be yeah because in a way you're kind of one of those artists that your vision isn't essential that you're already kind of a big deal because you're the host of X Factor oh, yeah. you have a pop career you're known in Ukraine and Russia and other places and like it's nice to see someone of your caliber who keeps wanting to come back to Eurovision. I and hope it doesn't look like very <laughs> desperately because it's not so no. des desperate because all, every every year I'm like thinking like j during the summer or like even like before the deadline I'm mm. thinking to, to participate or not but uh, I'm always I'm always thinking if I have the song that I believe in oh, because yeah. maybe other people are not believing in that song after all like when they hear oh this is like generic or this is like not a good song whatever but I feel I feel that every year that oh with this song I, I, I can do big so and how do you decide which song to enter because you obviously are releasing songs all year yeah I, th I think I will have soon like a EP <laughs> like supernova EP <laughs> but uh, um, it's it's actually always hard because as a as a songwriter you you write a song and you really believe in that material and you have like some kind of uh, some kind of thing in your in your head when you 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 seeing some some concepts and like how it gonna sound like and look like but but then after all maybe something is not going so well but this this year I was participating actually with two songs yeah. uh, with this time and never let you go and uh, I don't know at the end of the day it's it's anyway you can you can promote your music uh, through this uh, competition as well not not only here in Latvia but like all across the euro because a uh, lot of a lot of uh, people are watching supernova and this is this is uh, still such a big benefit and you can because in Latvia you, mostly you have to actually sing in Latvian to to to, to get like radio airplay and uh, and people listening to your music and the same like in Russia and Ukraine you have to you have to sing in Russian or Ukrainian that's what I'm doing as well but like I, I always love to create music in English uh, firstly so so I think it's a great way to, to promote your music as well and of course anyone who follows Supernova in any way will know that you didn't get to the final in the most straightforward fashion that there was kind of a bit of drama that you it were out and then you were back <laughs> and what was that like I think it was this, this, uh, PR wise it was such a great PR <laughs> because I was I was I was super happy about my performance this year in a, uh, in a semi-final oh, always you can do much better like but uh, I was very confident finally because last year was a tough year because uh, I had some issues in my family with with my mother so it was such a such a bad year in general last year so but this year was I think it was very positive and very confident and I I was super happy to perform, perform that song because this time was one of my favorite songs in, in, in my playlist <laughs> like from my songs and uh, and 
then I wasn't I wasn't crying like oh I didn't get to final I was like oh <laughs> it's like it's like it's like normal thing but then I went to to Moscow for some PR activities and then uh, then I read that uh, one big uh, composer in Latvia he was uh, saying that oh Marcus should be in the final and it was like such a big compliment for me and then uh, the producers uh, called me and I uh, they, they told me that oh we have this error issue and uh, yeah I was like super happy and at the end of the day I was hoping for that uh, wild card as well so yeah. it's like hmm, maybe maybe <laughs> and obviously it's nice to get to the final but the thing yeah. is if you hadn't gotten it you'd still be kept busy because you do modeling you're a TV host you're a singer which of you do so many different things which one is your favorite my favorite actually of course is like music I love to, to, to write songs and I love to perform but I think it's it's when you when you look at uh, I don't know Beyonce, she's doing everything as <laughs> yeah. well. She has like a fragrance and and she's uh, shooting in movies and uh, so I think it's it's just a show business and you have to if you have this uh, opportunity to bring positivity to a lot of people then you can do it as a as a TV host as a as a model and, and doing Anything music you want, and, basically. Yeah. and actually I just I just started to uh, be an uh, actor in a Latvian soap opera <laughs> which, okay. was, which was so funny and it was uh, so, uh, so 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 much fun and uh, it's uh, and what does your character do is he a actually, goodie or a baddie or? no the thing is they offer me this role but I have to play myself which okay. is <laughs> which is I think you know, from one side it's like very easy but uh, from the other side it's like very hard to because everyone's like ah, super acting and over <laughs> overdoing their characters and you're like oh hi Marcus <laughs> how are you <laughs> yeah it's kind of like you kind of have to be yourself but you have to do yeah, yourself yeah, right absolutely. so obviously you're doing that mm -hmm. but what else can we expect in the coming months from Marcus Ruben? actually last week was super inspirational for me I don't know why it was just like a, maybe finally a moment when I can uh, take some time to myself and I wrote like a six songs in a, in a row so I was like super happy and I rushed to the studio and the recorded something so I hope to release uh, finally like an album in Latvian and in English because I have a lot, lot of English uh, songs as well some from Supernova as well <laughs> uh, but I have some some other I think great songs to, to, to come and was there a Eurovision song amongst those six I don't think so I don't okay. think so because they are anyway when you write a song for Eurovision it should be like very it shouldn't be like like a format, like something very specific, but still, I have to have those uh, those sort of guidelines that it should be it should be very special. I don't I don't want to say that those songs are not special, <laughs> but uh, they are maybe maybe in a, a different thing because those are the songs that you can put on an album, but maybe I won't release them as a singles. So it's just like sort of way to express your artistry but for Eurovision I think you have to make that big big song like that song so I'm, I'm hoping to maybe we'll see it sometime yeah, yeah. soon <laughs> and finally do you have a message for all your fans from Europe and all over the world yeah um, just do the best is what you can do in your life and and uh, spread only good energy because there are so many bad things happening in the world and I think uh, when you when you love music when you love people then it's uh, I think it, this world just easily gets better and absolutely you have to check out BB blogs all the time because that's the best <laughs> thank you and hopefully we'll see you at a future Eurovision yeah. sometime